Fillmore software is now available for your origin. It will download automatically in the background if you're connected to Wi-Fi. We'll run you through the improvements. We're focusing on the usual stuff, performance, stability, reliability, and efficiency. Uh, and then there's a few user-facing features that we'll go through shortly. On the performance front, we've addressed the cut history. It's been significantly improved and optimized. Uh, stability, we've crushed a few big bugs that were causing crashes, so Origin should be much more resilient and stable in the field. And then there's a few little bug fixes, some with the way SVGs are parsed. Uh, we'll go through some more improvements to single line text and things like that in the next section. Here is the recent files flow. Uh, we're always trying to make things more approachable, more intuitive, and reduce the amount that you have to think and uh, stay on top of file management and stuff. So. You'll notice here uh, I'm importing a file from Shaper Hub and it's now going to remember exactly where I am including the slider position when I place something else. So I'm going to import this, place it. Uh, now when I go to import again, you'll notice it remembers exactly where I am. So I can import all the elements in this folder intuitively and quickly. Previously, we'd start off in the root and you would have to navigate all the way to this folder. Uh, one other thing worth mentioning, there's actually two stacks. There's another one for the USB. I don't have one plugged in, but that will remember its location as well if you insert the same USB. Auto lock mode. So we're familiar with auto mode, so I'll just do a regular cut here. Uh, green button clicked. Now we're tracking as normal. Uh, and then holding down the green button again activates auto mode. You see the center corrective range turns green. So that's a fixed feed rate. Um, Origin manages that as long as you hold the green button down. Uh, so we've added the auto locked mode, which is a double click of the green button. Um, and you'll notice now it says auto locked in the bottom corner there. And even with my hands off the green button, it's going to continue cutting uh, with a linear feed rate. So that enables us to do long cuts where we want to, say an aluminium, something like that, where we want to really manage the uh, feed rate. Uh, if we've got delicate cutters and we want to, uh, say, fretboard cutting, things like that, where we just need to stay on top of that feed rate and keep it under control precisely, uh, this is the tool for the job. So double click, auto mode engaged, uh, clicking again disengages it and you just go back to regular cutting. Uh, and to re-trigger it, you will need to retract and double click um, to kick it off again. Otherwise, you'll just be dropping in and out of... Uh, regular auto mode. Single line fonts. These have been tripping people up in various applications. The way they're handled uh, can be quite confusing. This one came out of Affinity Design. Uh, it's a font called Kanban. It uh, says it's a single line font, but it's actually a loop that goes back and doubles back on itself. Previously, Origin would bring that in and collapse that because it defines no area. Uh, it would blow away the lines uh, and you'd get a sort of jumbled, garbled mess. Uh, now we just present it readily uh, available for cutting. So long as it's defined as an online cut, uh, it will just cut as you would expect. You'll notice you double back on itself. That's what gives you the hint that it's actually two lines, uh, but there's no area to find. So these are now easy to cut uh, and shouldn't require much processing, thinking, or uh, workarounds in the various apps to, uh, to get the most out of them. So hopefully that improves the simplicity of working with type on Origin significantly. Here's a little tip and trick that should uh, help out a lot of people in the field. You don't have to save a left and a right element of a shape anymore. You can just copy it. Uh, you can do this when you're placing as well. And uh, we've opened it up. If you turn off the uh, linking of the proportions, uh, if you just put a negative value into any one of them, uh, you flip it on its axis. So uh, that makes life a lot easier in the field if you forget uh, one element or just find you need the negative for uh, text if it's a uh, stamp or something like that. Um, that makes life a lot easier and a lot more efficient. We've been enjoying using Fillmore for our internal testing and we hope you'll enjoy it as well. So uh, if you're making interesting projects, be sure to tag us with uh, ShaperMade hashtag on Instagram. And uh, yeah, get back to us on the community with how it's working out for you.